Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Beyond. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really great day. Dang, those animals are loud. They're so loud. How did you get out? Hold on. You know, you have selected yourself. I don't know if he got out or if he's just a wandering cow, but you just select yourself in the, the culting process. Uh, I've been wanting some meat. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. I thought I would bring you guys in because I was actually in the middle of doing... Let's go this way. I can't stand that noise. Oh my goodness. But I was in the process of doing off-camera work and I thought I'd bring you guys in to show you guys a little bit of an update on what I've been doing off-screen. Because as you guys know, uh, we'll probably can see Intel by now, but I've been doing quite a bit of stuff off-screen. But of course... Before we get into that, I want to say thank you guys for sitting down with me today, because I really do appreciate it. I'm really glad you decided to come hang out with me today. I'm really glad you decided to come hang out with me today. You know, I never did know, I didn't really mention this last episode, but this armor is janky. I've been, I've been using the uh, the uh, Project Red armor, and this stuff is really, really good. I've got diamond armor rating, and this stuff's really powerful, but... The boots don't seem to work <laughs> because I think I have pants on and then I have boot pants. It's a thing. So yeah, off screen, I have been doing quite a bit of work. I've been doing quite a bit of stuff. So I went ahead, I moved my auto crafting, well, not my auto crafting, but my auto ore processing back here. I don't know, I got a mess of wires and I want to fix this today. This is going to be one of the things I'm going to be fixing today. But I moved my auto uh, smelting and stuff back here. I've got quite a bit of stuff already done up. I've been doing a little bit of mining off screen. I've also been doing a lot of crafting of other things I'm about to show you guys. But um, I plan on putting my other machines here. Now, I want to fix this situation. So I want to go ahead, sometime today. I don't know when, but sometime today I'm going to make a, uh, what's it called? Uh, an alloy smelter. And I'm going to make a conduit from Ender.io. That's going to be a thing. And I'm going to actually do that today because I'm getting tired of this. It's not that I don't like immersive engineering stuff. It's just it's out there. I don't like it. So that's going to be something we're going to be doing today. I was also getting stuff ready to make a Coke oven because I want to start getting renewable energy online. But first, before we do that, I think I am ready to give you guys some humpy time. You guys ready? <laughs> But I've been breeding cows. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I've been breeding cows like crazy. And I've got so many animals. I've got to stop that. Hold on. <laughs> They're so loud. Oh, goodness. Let's do friendly mobs. Is it these? Friendly creatures. Better. But I've been breeding cows like crazy because I've been craving meat. I've been living off of toast for a while for a while because I was able to get quite a bit of wheat online. I'm going to be uh, harvesting this up in just a second, but I've got wheat and I've got uh, hemp or cannabis or whatever heck you want to call it. Basically, this stuff's going to be used in industrial. No, it's going to be used in immersive engineering to make windmills. Uh, so that's the reason I was growing that stuff. This is, of course, food and I've been using it for toast. Now, the thing is, the other thing that I'm going to be needing for to make windmills, because I was looking it up, I'm going to need a coke oven because I have to get this kerosene oil stuff. And the only way I can get that is by having a coke oven and then making coke coal, which then has that byproduct. Then I could use that to treat wood, to make treated wood, that then I could use to create windmills. That's my thought process with that because I want to use wind power. I think that'd be a really interesting idea to have and just, you know, just have windmills up there. I think that's a really cool thing. Now, the other thing that I was crafting off screen, let me go ahead and stick you back in there. But the other things I was crafting off screen, I was crafting these. Check it out. I've got solar panels now. I've made two. I made one recipe, which, can, which counted for two of them. So I made one recipe of the solar panels three, which generate... Uh, 32 RF per tick and can transfer up to 256 RF per tick with a capacity of 425,000 uh, in storage just for that one solar panel. Well, for those both, of course, those together would make 64 RF per tick. Now, for comparison, I was also able to make two of these and then one of these. And this, of course, has eight. And this one, of course, has one. Now, for comparison, our generators in here, which I have not... I don't even think these guys have ticked over. I'm not even joking. I'm, I still think I'm on that one block of coal. See, this one's about to take over, but the rest of them aren't because I'm only I'm only pulling 40 RF per tick off of these two machines because each one of these do 20. But uh, these guys create 80 RF per tick. But with these solars, this is 64. This is eight. So that's a. Uh, 72 plus that's 73 RF per tick just in solar panels. So I've almost got this entire thing in solar panels. And of course, solar panels are free during the day. Those, of course, are free all of the time. They're technically not free because I'm using coal, but it's kind of ridiculous how long they last. <laughs> so 
So what I'm doing, and I thought I'd bring you guys in just to talk with you guys for a little bit, give you guys an idea of what I'm doing today. Um, I want to go ahead and make a Coke oven. I want to uh, get an area out over here. I want to get this area up here cleared out, probably bring it down to about here, and then create a little windmill setup up there. I want to try to get two of them, two windmills, and then a solar panel array. And then I'm probably going to try to make more of these level threes. Uh, the only reason I had to stop was because I ran out of redstone. But to make the coke oven, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more sand. I'm gonna need more clay, and I'm gonna need uh, what else am I gonna need? Nope, just sand and clay. Because to make the coke bricks, I think I need bricks, sand, and clay. And of course, bricks are made out of clay. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna get to work. And I always like to say this at the beginning of the video. Or at least I should be saying it. I, I don't know why I don't ever say it. But if you like what you see, hit the like button. I don't know. It's I just I feel like reiterating at the beginning of the videos because I, I I hate saying it because I feel like a sellout. I feel like a silly silly out. But anyways, it helps the videos out and it helps other people find the videos because YouTube apparently only advertises those videos that actually get good ratings. Go figure. They won't advertise someone like me. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Breathing. Alright, so I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch, and I mean a bunch of clay. Just in case we need it. Probably will never use it for anything. And I also got some more bricks melting up in here just in case we need it. Probably never use it. So I went ahead. I made myself some Coke bricks. Now, if I remember this correctly, I think, I think it's as simple, it's as simple as making a 3x3x3 three by three by three out of these bricks and then just right clicking it with a hammer. Am I right? Yes, I am right. Sweet. So now I can, I can now use this thing. So the way that this thing works is it turns coal into coke coal and then by doing that it will then create a resin that i can then use let me take this stuff out that i can then use to treat wood so instead of doing that i'm going to actually turn coal blocks into coke coal blocks and i'm hoping does this work it does now how long are you going to take progress bar at zero percent this is going to take a while one percent Oh, this is really gonna take a while. But yeah, this thing's gonna take quite a bit of time <laughs> to turn that into coke coal blocks. But once that thing's done, according to the NEI, I'm gonna get I'm then gonna get five thousand millibuckets worth of curasoil. I I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know that. Don't point it out in the comment section, please. <laughs> then I can use that to make treated wood. So now I've got a bunch of waiting to do, apparently. All right, guys, so I'm just now coming back from a little mining adventure because I needed something to do while I was waiting for those coal blocks. And I also needed redstone, so I went ahead and did that. Of course, it's nighttime. I'm probably going to get raided by mobs doing this, but I had to come back early because my pick broke and I didn't bring anything to go and actually make a new one, which kind of stinks. But hey, it's a thing. I probably need to come back anyways because I feel like this thing should be done by now. Hopefully it is. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. But look at this. I got tons of ores. I got some, a lot of redstone. Not a lot, a lot, but enough. I, hopefully it'll be enough for whatever we need. Ooh, look at it. Look at all that carasote. Carasote. Carasote oil. Yes, and I also got some coke coal out of that too. So, and of course, this stuff burns. It burns twice as much. Wow, it burns twice as much as regular coal. Awesome. I might actually make this a regular thing and just use this stuff for the jennies. I don't know. Maybe these guys will actually burn longer? Question mark. I have no idea. We'll leave these guys alone for a little bit for right now. Let's go ahead and stick this stuff in there. I'm gonna stick all my ores in here. Uh, actually, in here. So we'll go bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And that should be all of them. Okay, cool. Now, while that stuff's going, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead, I'm gonna make some bottles to bottle up this carousel. Uh, do I have any glass left over? I used a ton of glass when I made those solars. I don't know if I have any glass left. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It does not look like it, but I can do this. I'm gonna do this right here. So, let's go ahead and stick you. Stop it! Oh, oh. If I click too many buttons at once, the game freezes and freaks out. I'll stick that in there for right now. And bottle me up, daddy. Bam. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stick these guys in here and then get our killer sort. Sweet. And now those guys are going to continue to go. Oh, I still got 7,000. So I still have uh, seven buckets worth. Well, actually, well, seven bottles worth slash buckets worth. So let's go ahead and make the treated wood, which I think... I think it's as simple as doing this. I think you can actually do it this way. Yes, bam, got my treated wood. Okay, cool. Now what I need to do to make the windmills, let's go ahead and look this up. 
at immersive. So to make the windmills, I could either make the regular windmills, which only takes these windmill blades, which is just treated wood. But I want to go ahead and upgrade them into the improved versions because this stuff takes these blades, but they also take these tough fibers, which is actually made out of hemp. Um, and then, of course, those will end up running better, I do believe. But, ooh, I didn't think about steel. Dang it. So I'm going to have to make a blast furnace. I didn't want to make a blast furnace. Uh, ah. Oh, well, maybe I will make a blast furnace because I'm going to have to make steel. And I don't believe there's any other way to do it. I can make steel dust. I don't think they put any other way to make steel in this mod pack. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what was that? Refined iron? Can I use refined iron is the question. That used to be really easy to make refined iron. Um, I don't think I can. Because the old way you used to make refined iron was just smelting iron. I don't think that's still a thing. It shouldn't be. If it is, it's broken. <laughs> Let's see. Can I stick this in here? No. Oh, well. It is what it is. So I'm really going to have to make myself a blast furnace. Because I want to use the improved ones. Because these guys are going to give me the maximum capacity. Also, how these things work is they hook up to something called a kinetic generator. I think that's what it's called. Those are the uh, capacitors. Kinetic dynamo. Okay, kinetic dynamo. And this thing is called... And this thing needs iron... Gold. Yes, it's gold, Valentine. Come on. It's really late. My words are not working right now. So it needs iron, redstone, and this copper coil box thing. It takes iron, more copper. Okay, so that's super simple to make. So what I now have to do is I have to wait a little bit. I'm going to have to build a blast furnace, which takes more waiting because this thing takes forever because it needs coke coal. And to make a blast furnace, I'm going to need blast bricks, which is going to... No, I didn't want to go. Ah, uh, that means I have to go to the nether. Dang it. So I'm just going to have to use the regular blades. I'm not going to go in the nether today. Nope, not happening because I, I don't want to I don't want to make a pick. That it's just this is the rabbit hole, guys. This is the rabbit hole I always complain about. <laughs> There's always one other step that I have to do and I'm cutting it off. We're using the regular ones today and I'm going to improve them later. Off screen probably. <laughs> so I'm going to get to work. Uh, because this stuff's gonna take some crafting, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hmm. I seem to have a quite a bit of an overpopulation of cows. It turns out the fences aren't quite working anymore, and every so often I always find one straying around. So I feel like... I feel like I need to remove some of them. Ah, I guess there's really no way of getting around it. I gotta let them go. Guys, I gotta let them free. Gotta let them go. I had fun while they were here, but uh, I guess I'll let them, and I'll set them free. Ah, much better. Yeah. See now, not only are they are in a better place but by not being confined to their pen, but um, I don't know, it was the weirdest thing. I, you know, I was sat here, I, I opened the gate, they were kind of roaming around, they were prancing, it was really, it was really weird. I'm sorry I didn't get it on camera for you guys, but it was the darndest thing. I don't know where I found, meat and leather just lying all over the ground super weird it's uh weird things happen just go figure all right guys welcome back so i have finished with all the preparations i'm finished with the preparations actually i got a little bit more i've got to do before him but that that should be almost done because my machine should be done in just a couple of minutes but i have finished with this part so i have ripped down all the wires and all the connectors and now i have conduit Perfect, good, I love it. So also, I have got a little bit more conduit conductive iron smelting up. Um, I could be using this a little bit. I probably will, because I only have eight conduit left. And let me see, this guy should be almost done so I can have a full set. No, I'm gonna need two more to do that. Anyways, let me grab this. No, I already have it, good. So I can go ahead and make some more conduit. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. And I've also, let me go ahead and head on up on top of the hill. I've already, I've already terraformed? Yes, terraformed. I've, I've dug a lot. <laughs> That's basically what I've done. I flattened this area out up here, and this should be directly above our little base area. I'm thinking our and machines and stuff are somewhere in this general area. I haven't dug down to make sure or check the coordinates. So this is, I'm going in blind a little. I'm going in blind, which is always the best thing. So what I need to do is I should have my stuff on me. Good, I got my kinetic dynamo, got this. Now the solar panels themselves should be pretty simple. All I gotta do is place them down and hook them up. Now this guy is gonna be a little bit different because I think the efficiency depends on how high it is. And right now I'm on 76. 
So if I go up to let's just say uh, 85, it'll be a lot more. It'll be more efficient than it would be at 76. But also, if I bring it all the way up to 200, it'll be more efficient that way. But I'm not gonna go all the way up to 200. I tried doing that a long time ago, and it's just I didn't see really big, too much of a return for it. You should be turning. Are you not turning? Why are you not turn? There it is. Ah, windmills. I always love the look of these things. Okay, let's start pulling out the power. Now, I wish this thing told me how much it was producing, because I don't know. I wish I would have. I wish I knew. Ah, oh well. It's a little bit of power. It is what it is. So, how am I gonna get down without hurting my? That's how I'm gonna get down. Apparently, <laughs> I didn't want to hurt myself, but I, hey, it is what it is. So let's go and place these guys like this. Let me go ahead and take you down. And then I should be able to just run this cable all the way down. I just, I don't know where it's gonna poke its head out. So we're about to find out. Let's see where this thing pokes its head out. <laughs> and see if I have to move it. I really hope it don't. Let's just go boom. Where are you going? Where are we going? I know my thing has to be here. Okay, I missed. I missed by a little bit, but I didn't miss by too much. Okay, so this won't be that big of a deal. So I can run the cable down and then I can run it across just like so into this cable because this cable then connects to the battery which is my energy cell and then my energy cell will then run to my machines the reason that i do it the way that i do i haven't really explained this but i like having a buffer and i do plan on changing this out to a capacitor banks later but i like having a buffer and so just in case if my for some strange reason i run out of energy or if i run out of like fuel or if i'm not producing enough power up there i have like backup energy to keep my stuff going uh, while I try to fix a solution, you know, and then it won't they just won't cut out Immediately, that's my plan at least <laughs> It's worked for me so far. So now that is now done I should be able to run these guys down and then uh, next will be the solar panels Can I reach you? Yes, I can boom 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 now you're gonna connect is my question you are let me go ahead and disconnect that I made a Yeti wrench by the way the regular crescent wrench wouldn't work with these guys so we'll do nope didn't want to connect disconnect there I'm gonna disconnect there no I don't want to change you around either okay let me actually put myself up a little bit so I can see this guy I want to disconnect you there I don't think it's gonna make any difference but I just wanted to make sure I just want to make sure nothing goes wrong so let's go ahead and connect this guy up to here now this is now connected to into our system which is good I just wish I knew how much power I was producing that would be great Nope, no way of knowing. Now, here's my question. I don't know how these solar panels work. I know I'm gonna need to draw power from the bottom, but can they be placed on the side of blocks is my question, because if that's possible, then my easy solution would just be doing this. Yay, it can be. Okay, cool. All right, that makes things so much easier. <laughs> so we'll do bam, bam, and then a uh, bam and then I could just connect them just like so boom 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 and boom and now they're connected into the system actually you're connected in two spots which is interesting hold on how are we looking light levels at 100% charge rate at whatever percent that is it's generating 20 32 RF per tick it has efficiency thing well it has a hundred percent efficiency but what does this mean are there upgrades I have no idea I have to look into that stuff off screen so let's disconnect you there because I don't want anything going wrong there. And now we have clean energy. <laughs> that actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys had fun today. I had a lot of fun today, even though most of it was like a lot of jump cuts, a lot of crafting for me, and not a lot of action for you guys. But we're able to set up more energy, which is really, really great. Now, if I wanted to take away my survival generators, I think I can now because... These guys are 70 something, and of course I can upgrade these level twos later. Uh, these level threes is probably what I'm gonna be jumping for right now, because these are 32 R per tick for each one of them. And then if I added, let's just say if I had nine of them, that would be, I mean, I would add eight of them because I couldn't add one in the center. That would be how much? Eight is 240, 252 R per tick? I mean, that's not bad. I, I probably did my math wrong, but yeah. <laughs> but don't forget, guys, if you hated this video, you know where to put it. But if it didn't enjoy, do not forget to hit the like button, guys. Like I always like to say, you guys have been showing such amazing support on this series so far. And I want to say thank you guys for all your amazing support. Guys, I actually mean that.
These videos have been doing amazing. And I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate seeing you guys hitting that like button. I really do appreciate seeing all the nice comments. I really do appreciate seeing all of the support that you guys have been showing for this series. It really means a lot to me. Because unfortunately, the, in this day and age, that the, the world and the overworld, the over, I was going to say overlords of YouTube, which they really are. Uh, unfortunately, if it's not a viable, uh, you know, ad revenue type deal for them if they can't make any money off a video they don't support it so uh of course the only, the best way to do that is have more people watch it and the best way to ha get more people to watch it is to, to get more attention to it so unfortunately unless i can do that uh they won't they won't spread it to more people which is a weird loop and it doesn't make any sense but uh yeah i really do appreciate you guys hitting that like button helping me and helping the channel in general <laughs> I really, really do appreciate it. So don't forget to post any questions, comments, or smart marks, comment sections are down there. I love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. No ball of ever great and wonderful rest of your day. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>